WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a cloudy Delray Beach, Florida. This year, 11 a.m. update. We've got a sea of green out there. All the U.S. indices that we track, they're trading to the upside. Dow's up 167, S&P 35, NASDAQ 100, 142. Russell's up 22 uh, points. Uh, the trannies are up 198. The semis are up 35 points. we got a rally going on. Spot Volatilix is testing its 50-day exponential moving average. We'll take a look at that in just a few moments. You've got gold up 90 cents. Silver's up 13 pennies. Late recruit is off 26 cents. Natural gas contract down 4 and a 30 year treasury printed out at 118.02. And finally, U.S. dollar index pulling back. It's uh, down 247 ticks. It is uh, below, I believe, the bottom of its daily profile. That says we might have lower price to come. Let's take a look at what all this means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES mini upper left hand side. It's got a Rose Mintum indicator top. Uh, likely price target on a further rally would be about 53.21. That's its oscillator and change line. If price were to close above 53.33.50, it negates its topping pattern. Don't have that signal just yet that that's what it's going to do. But if we did get a spot volatilic that closed below, starts trading below, it's 50-day exponential moving average. The 50 days at 1381. The spot right now is at 1389. So you got to keep your eye on that. In other words, the spot is back to a level where you should see it rally from. That 50-day exponents moving average, and that would then go ahead and take the ES Mini back south. If we take a look at the NQ, it still has its Rosemary to indicator top. Uh, price uh, has run into resistance at 18.567. That's its oscillator and change line. That's the level that price would need to close above to suggest to you and I it wants to make a run for that 18.709 level. The U.S. dollar index, it did form that new daily profile. Price is trading below that level. Don't know where we'll be at day's end, but 103.85. That's the bottom of the profile. I'll close below that would suggest run back to the 103.03 to 103.32 level. Goldilocks has attained the one-to-one -one price projection of its A to B equals CD pattern. The actual high today has been 23.25. Uh, the one price projection was 23 is 23.27. That's close enough for Stevie. Now, in order for this to give us a topping pattern, you need to see a bearish reversal candle. Short of that, price should continue to rally with 24.11 being the next target. Silver wants to target 28.23. That's its initial price projection level. Uh, Lightspeed crew, because it had a doji style candle yesterday. Any close lower today is going to generate a sell the D point pattern, but that may just simply take price back to support, which is at the 8312 level. You got natural gas, it's got those nice bottoms out there and just consolidated with inside its daily profile. Support at 175, resistance at 1.879, a 30 year treasury has found support at its swing point from back in the uh, February timeframe. So, folks, stay tuned, if you will, for the Trader's Ed show. But if you have to start your Thursday. Please have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now. In the